Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van Auto Company. It's Friday, January 11th. I'm going to go over the markets for the day and week with you. So positive trade into these gray markets, trying to get a little bit of a rebound after yesterday's very negative day to finish off the week a little bit on the positive side. Corn market up two, but still down four and three quarters on the week. Uh, soybean market up three and a half on the week or three and a half on the day, but still down 10 and a quarter on a weekly chart. Um, you are now transitioning from the January to March futures, though uh, most trade has been off March futures for a couple weeks now but March futures on the week down 11 and a quarter and then the wheat market had a positive day today up five and three quarters across the board and then trade really for the week was mixed with anywhere from down uh, a penny and a half to up two and a half cents so wheat market was able to stabilize a little bit better this week compared to the wheat market or the corn and soybean market uh, we did get estimates out yesterday that's what the negativity was we were supposed to have a very big crop report today obviously we do not with the partial government shutdown still lacking information from cftc as well and then um, any sales reports also you did see natural gas start to really take off today and towards the close up 5% on the day. And that could be an indicator that China's in here to buy. They said they've wanted uh, liquid nat gas. And so that's one thing to look at. Um, could they be around for beans early next week and the market's really hinging on that decision. Hopefully we can get a government start to back um, reopen so we can get some of these crop report details, get some of these sales report details as well. But until then, we're really just lacking in the information. Looks like Brazil is about 2% harvested right now and about 1.5% planted on their second corn crop. So very early stages when you look at that. Meat markets today, a little bit uh, mixed action with live cattle up 10 cents, feeders down 62 and a half. Lean hogs though did have some negativity down a buck 42 and a half. Overall in the week, you saw a little bit of a rebound after uh, last week's negative negativity into the cattle market. So live cattle up just over three bucks, feeders up just over a buck, lean hogs still up 70 cents with today's action on the cash trade side of front. You did have cash hog index ra um, rallying about three bucks on the week. So some positivity there. And then those outside markets, crude market down just over a buck today, dollar up um, 11 and Dow market down 51 points. But on the week, you do have the Dow market up 500 points off that optimism from China and US talks and also hoping to get this government back up and running. Um, we're still in the early stage. Ages. They look like they could be having some difficulty as far as finding a way to get it open. Um, but hopefully we have continued talks and we can get that open by next week. I do have to close with the disclaimer. Trading in futures and options involves risk class and is not suitable for all producers. Have a great weekend.